this week on this episode of the podcast, we had a guest, a special, another special guest that joined us here at the Killer Bee Studios. Yes, it was CCM artist Jason Gray. Jason Brian, Gray, yes. You didn't get his name wrong. I didn't, but you know, I talked to some people beforehand and they're like, yeah, is that is that John Brown or uh, what was there's another one I told you? Uh, Joe Gord. Is Joe Gord coming tonight? I'm like, Joe, Joe Gord? Gord? Who's Joe Gord? <laughs> it's Jason you, Gray. Yeah, you got a taste of what it feels like <laughs> oh, man. of us with you. Jason Jason came and joined us and he shared uh, shared the importance of finding rest during this Christmas season. And I know this episode is going to drop right before Christmas. So uh, if, if you're kind of caught up in the busyness of all the holiday seasons right now, I think this is going to be a great episode for you to listen to. I don't know if this is going to make the cut, Matt Olivia, but wasn't it cool? Jason actually debuted a brand new song here live at the Killer Bee Studios. I believe the song, if if I remember right, was called Be Kind. Yes, it was. It's an amazing song that I think everyone needs to really listen to the lyrics of. Now, I want to give everybody a heads up before we jump into the podcast that we did keep just a small sample clip of each one of the songs that Jason performed in the podcast. Now, the audio quality is not great. It has nothing to do with Jason. It has all to do with the technology right now. So the guitar sounds a little tinny, but we wanted to make sure you had the opportunity to hear a sample of Jason's music in case you have never heard of Jason Gray. So if you enjoy what you hear on the podcast, make sure you go check out Jason Gray on Spotify or YouTube Music or whatever platform you like to stream your music on. Well, with that, let's go ahead and jump into the episode. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Killer Bee Studios. Uh, We're so excited everybody's here. We're so excited you're all here. Thank you. Thank you so much for all your patience. Here's Jason. Jason Gray is here. Uh, We have some problems (laughs) with his controllers. Like, you guys imagine what it's like to bring a guest in that's never been on an Oculus. And uh, their controller, the triggers, they stop working. How do you do that? (laughs) so but jason thanks for thanks for coming out and joining us tonight absolutely it brought me back to uh the many times that i tried to play video games with my son (laughs) and uh just like just uh old and and slow and you know (laughs) old and slow old and slow well i i'm we're super excited here i mean you guys have to give him some confetti. Like usually we bring out. Okay, yeah. so Jason, let me give you some insight. Usually we bring all out. Right. We're like, hey, all right, everybody, please welcome our guest, Jason Gray, to the Killer Bee Studios, and let's rain him with some confetti. Please. Rain him, let's rain him with some confetti. Oh, yeah. Hey, all right, like I'll take that. The, see, yeah, so we got to give you the full experience that. here. <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh Appreciate man, that. Yes, thank yes, you for the yes, confetti, yes. everybody. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right, that's the end of the show. You guys, thank you. Thank you for all. No, I'm just joking. That's not right. the end of the show. <laughs> oh, okay. Whoa. All right. All right. He hasn't learned the meta safety distance yet. You guys are getting like, yeah. okay, Jason is like the, we, we have this thing, Jason, we call meta age. You're the meta age of like one, like 30 seconds. Maybe <laughs> less than one. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Possibly. less than so, one. Yeah. All right. Well, you got, we're definitely, we're super excited that you're here yeah. tonight, guys. I asked Jason to come because uh, I love his heart and I love his story. How many people here has heard Jason's music before? Have you guys ever heard Jason Gray's music before? Okay, yeah. So we do. We have some people oh, here that's, that's heard Jason. Thank you. Thank you and very much. any of you that have not, Jason, you want to let them know how, like, what's the best way they can find you and connect with you on social media and stuff? Oh, you know, just uh, if you Google my name, I'm sure you'll you'll find your way to me, you know, but like... Uh, Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, yes. all the normal places. And, and it's Jason Gray with an A, G R A Y. Have anybody wondered like G-R-A-Y. how do you spell the gray? Is it J? Yeah. Is it G R? Is it J? Is it G R A Y or G R E Y? I always it's G R A Y. But it's an A. It's an A. G R A Y. All right. Yeah. Right. So tonight, I asked Jason if he would come and and join us to talk about rest i know you got a song a christmas song you're in the middle of a christmas tour right now right i am that's true it's true i'm 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 out uh, it's a tour that i do each year with my son who probably would have been able to navigate all this better than me or if he'd been here you know like (laughs) i'm usually asking him like how do i work my printer you know 
And he's like, <laughs> printer, what's one of those? You know. Uh, as we talk about rest, finding rest during this season, how many of you feel like right now in the season, everything's just like, go, go, go? Any of you, can any of you relate to that? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Olivia, how about yourself? Would you say you get a little overwhelmed during this time of the year? Um, absolutely. So overwhelmed for sure. Um, I feel like this is the first time since like 2019 where it feels like life is like back to normal and it's just crazy, crazy busy. And I have to say, Mona Olivia, I'm pretty shocked that you showed up dressed up in that. I've seen people's avatars of Christmas hats. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but she has a outfit, a Christmas sweater for every day up to Christmas. And today, if you check her out on social media, she has a whole elf costume on, ears and everything. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. And that, I, it can get exhausting, you know? You have to wear a costume <laughs> every day. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I know like and like for me, like we're traveling right now. And I know Jason, you're in the middle of a tour. And <clears throat> I I have to admit that I've been kind of feeling like, oh, I just need a break. I was actually just on a meeting today with uh some friends in business and that's run different businesses and one of them said, I like to take a whole week off before the new year, just me and my wife and just kind of refresh ourselves for the new year. And I'm like, Man, you got me thinking like, gosh, I need to do that. I need to do that. Jason, as we get ready to, I want to hand this over to you to, to share your thoughts about rest. But before, would you take about 30 seconds and just let everybody know a little bit about yourself, who you are, uh, since yeah. some of these people don't even know who you are yet. Yeah, sure. I'm a, a, a singer, a songwriter. If you've never seen me before, one of the things I want you to know about me is that I do s s suffer from a, a speech um, impediment uh, known as s s s stuttering. Here it is right there. Um, and uh, so I just want you to know that that's, it's not the Oculus glitching or anything like that. It's just, uh, it's just what I do. So <laughs> some people think it's cute, you know, but uh, I'm from Minnesota. Uh, but I moved to, to, to Nashville about six years ago and uh, I've recorded, I don't know, eight records, I think. And uh, what else you want to know about? Me? I'm not sure. <laughs> There's going to be like a Q&A like... time at the end, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. that's right. That's right. Is that right? And, okay, cool. Yeah, that's right. Yep, that's right. So <laughs> yeah. you'll be able to you ask, can ask me questions. All the things you want to know about me. I'm a, <laughs> I'm an expert regarding me, so you can ask me anything <laughs> There you go. An expert regarding me. Well, and I have to say, if you guys, if you are Christmas music fans, you have to check out Jason's record because that's actually one of my favorites. The first time I ever heard oh, Jason man, perform was at, was at a Christmas concert called Behold the Lamb of God. Uh, and okay. that was the first yeah. time I got to hear Jason. With and Andrew Peterson. So uh, I recorded a Christmas album a number of years back where uh, I wrote a song for each of the characters in the nativity scene. And uh, mm. my hope was that if I told their story as, uh, uh, as, as authentically human as I knew how, that it would remind us a lot of our own stories, you know, and that if mm. that happened, if we had a, Oh, me too. I've, I've experienced that. I've, 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 I've felt that way. If that, if I could make that happen for a listener, then maybe they could be transported to the manger scene themselves mm. in the front row seat, wow. you know, so. I love so, that. The whole, so it's kind of like a a deconstruction of the nativity scene is, is kind of what it is. So, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. But, well, you know what? I don't yeah. know. So Jason's just learned a lot about Killer Bee Studios and Jason, that's yeah. the mindset behind the studios here is for people to come and just share real life yeah. stories too and kind of realize that you I know what it. maybe we're all a lot more we have a lot more in common than we realize how do you find rest in this season right now stay with us we'll be right back 
Hey, this is Brian, and I just want to hit pause for just a second and give a big shout out and thank you to all of you who have supported our Metaverse podcast experience. Season four of the podcast will begin in March of 2024. While we gear up for the new season, I want to invite you to join our Discord community at discord.killerbstudios.com or click the link in the show notes. It's a perfect place to keep the conversations flowing and stay connected between seasons. I hope to catch you there. And with that, let's get back to the episode. Yeah, you know, I um I was just meeting with my mentor earlier today and uh you know, he he's uh he's the wisest man I know. His name is George. And we were talking about depression actually. And uh he was 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 t- t- talking about the mistake that that we can often make is that we f- we we fight with depression. We reject our depression. We try to manage it. But he said, you know, you, you have to have a relationship with it like you do anybody else, right? Okay. So, for instance, uh, if I'm going to be, if I'm going to be in a conversation with you and I want to listen, I can listen at the level of your words. I can listen to your words. Uh, if I do that, I'm actually not a very good listener, right? Or I can listen to your heart that's behind your words. That's a better listener. Uh, mm-hmm. A great listener actually listens to the interpreter of your heart behind your words. And that's the Holy Spirit, right? Okay. So uh, mm-hmm. when I'm when I'm overwhelmed and uh, and stressed out, and if if that's over a prolonged period of time that can turn into depression and uh, you know so so how do i listen to my depression how do i not resist it how do i not reject it how do i accept it and move with it i think i do that by listening to it recognizing that my depression is going to exaggerate right it's going to emphasize things it's going to you know um and and uh but if instead, if I listen to to the heart behind my depression, you know, uh, it's trying to tell me something important. You know, mm. maybe it's it's a saying that uh, that that I'm 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 over extended. Okay, so if I'm overextended, though, what can I do about that? If it's if it's just a busy season where the demands aren't going away, right? Like, like even if I need a break, uh, the demands are there. Well, you learn how to, you, 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 uh, you shrink the window of response down to what do I need this minute? Mm -hmm. And you do that minute by minute, moment by moment, you learn uh, self care moment by moment. Right. And that Mm -hmm. means, all right, I recognize uh i'm i'm not going to get a day off but right now i recognize i need a moment off so maybe i'm just going to sit in my car and and i'm going to breathe for mm. 1 minute before i go into my next meeting they'll still be waiting there wow. for me i can take a minute right uh and then i go into the meeting and i do what i have to do there after it's over okay maybe I take one more minute. Maybe I sit in my car mm. and 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 I I you know if I'm paying attention to myself, I notice you know I think I need to hear my 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 f- favorite s- song right now. I just need to mm-hmm. you know and I'm just going to play a song for about 3 minutes. It's uh it's all those little acts, right? Um during my day mm. uh it's a very demanding season right now. Um, and uh, when I make my lunch, I'm working from home. One of the things that I do is like, <laughs> okay, so me and my boys, when they were growing up, we loved the cartoon Adventure Time. Do you remember that show? Adventure no. Time. Anybody remember uh, Adventure it's, Time? It's yeah. A, Confetti? Uh, yeah. It's, okay, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, 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 it's hilarious. I think the guys who worked on it like were like it's 
maybe we're on a drug trip, like, you know, like most of the time when they were doing these episodes. Um, but it, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's, it's cerebral and quirky and it's just my sense of humor. I just love it. And my boy has recently said, have you ever watched it all the way through? If you do that, like it's, it's very poignant actually. So, so I'm working my way through adventure time now at that, at, at at 50 years old and it's great because the episodes are only 10 minutes long. So anyway, I bring that up because it has become a, a little oasis where, you know, mm-hmm. I don't have time to watch an hour show or a half hour show, but I have time when I make my lunch to sit down and I watch 10 minutes of adventure time. And, uh, and that it's, you know, it's just like when I'm intentional about all that, it, 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 uh, it really, uh, it really changes things. You know, um, one thing that pops into my mind that seems pertinent right now is, is um, I remember about eight years ago, I, I was I was in a severe place of burnout. And I told my mentor, I said, you know what, I think I, think I need to quit. I need to quit the music business. And he said, you know, a lot of people think they need to quit. But really, you just need to quit for 24 hours. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Uh, I remember mm-hmm. about that time, J- 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 Justin Bieber announced that he was done making pop music. You know, I thought, oh, this is like what 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 George was was t- t- talking about. I bet he just needs he needs to quit for now. And I bet in about two weeks. He'll realize, mm-hmm. no, no, I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing. And he'll be back, right? Wow. And just kind of s- seeing that play out with Beaver, you know, helped me to understand myself more too mm-hmm. and, and and to realize I might emotionally feel like overwhelmed and I need to be done, cancel everything. But really, maybe I only need a day. Maybe I only need an hour. Mm-hmm. Maybe I only need yeah. a 10-minute episode of Adventure Time. And and that's enough, you know. Um, you know. So 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 it's about paying attention and taking those small breaks, moment by moment, when you're in a, a, a very demanding season. So, thank you. That's man. That was deep. That was deep, and that was good. That was really good. I know. <laughs> I know. Metal Libby, you have, you have a question. And I brought in Adventure we, Time. I brought in Beaver. You you bring it all. (laughs) Well, I have to say, like, I'll I'll tell you right now, like that really for myself, I don't know about anybody here, uh, but if that's just what Jason just shared spoke to you in some way, please share some confetti. And I have to tell you, Jason, like even for myself to think about that, like what you said, like there's different seasons. Sometimes you've been a season that you just can't take a long break. And I've never really have sat back and thought like, you know, we, we go from, if you're not working from home and you still have to drive in somewhere, you, you start right. thinking about that. Like you're, you're transitioning from work to, to home life, to family life. Right. If you have a family, if you have kids. So like to go from one next to the other, it's probably a really good idea to take even just a few minutes just to sit in your car and let go of everything. Play your favorite for song. Or, yeah, play yeah. your favorite song and then transition to, Okay. I'm leaving that behind. I'm transitioning to my family yeah. time and, and and my friends' time, and I've I've never really thought of it that way. Um, you know, if if you do that intentionally, too, I think you reap a bigger benefit as opposed yes. to like like angrily. You know, like I get home yes. and oh yeah. man, I got to go in. There's going to be these demands. You know, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to stay in my car. You know, but like if you can if you can do all that, like you mean it, like, all right, I'm mm-hmm. home. There are people here that need my attention, need my love. And I'm going to pause for one minute and just yeah. breathe before I go in. You know, I remember when my mm-hmm. boys were learning piano, the most important thing that they would do is they would s- sit at the piano and then put their hands on the keys and then rest, take a deep mm-hmm. breath and then play and uh so it's it's like that it's just doing that you know and i have to say jason with your calm voice can you just for a second just say 
Let's just rest for a minute. Yeah. Are you, are you asking me to say that? Yeah, I'm asking you to say it. Like yeah, Mr. Yeah, Rogers. Yeah, yeah. You seem like, remember, remember the Mr. Rogers? Okay. How many <laughs> saw Mr. Rogers? I mean, okay, yeah. Okay, Mr. Yeah, Rogers, Mr. Rogers. Mr. Well, Rogers became one of my heroes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's okay to it's okay to rest for 30 seconds, for a minute, whatever you need to do. All right, that's a, I think I was I've been really enjoying the silence. I don't know about you guys, but I mean I I've had a crazy mm. day, so just the silence for a minute actually helps. Yeah. I had a counseling session and she was talking about like mm. my stress manifests into anxiety, not yeah. depression. So I like spiral out mm. of control, but going yeah. along with what you say, I know I get into the, I'm too busy to even take three minutes or whatever, right. but she gave me an exercise that I just yeah. wanted to pass along and it's called the container uh, mm. exercise. And what you do is take all your work, your busy, your negative thoughts, yeah. whatever it may be. And you imagine yourself putting them all in a container, closing up the container and throwing it out of sight because that helps <laughs> your brain to visualize mm. all of that gone. So you can get that three minutes of rest so i just yeah. wanted to pass that along because i was like oh we just talked about that today so yeah, yeah. that's great Went along that's with great. that so that's great i love that uh that's a really good analogy i got probably a pretty big container to put away after <laughs> yeah uh, i'm opening up the box here so but with you sharing that both of you, you know jason you're sharing about dealing with like recognizing the depression i think that you're right like it's yeah. self-care recognizing what what's really going on at that moment, if it's anxiety or depression, what's really going on right now? Uh, I, I've had to look at my time and realize at times that, you know what? I don't have enough margin in my day. Right. I've got my day packed so full. I've got to find and add some margin in there. What are the things that yeah. are, are, that are more urgent and not really important? Yeah. You know, yeah. Things that are fighting for my time. And I guess, I mean, to even think about it, not everyone's distractions are the same. Like, you know, rest, when we get caught up in busyness, it's because of distractions or things that's going on in our life, but it's not always going to be the same for everybody. There's distractions. Yeah. You know, and, 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 uh, the, the, the conversation I had with my mentor today, we were talking about the idea of, 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 uh, of, of making friends with your depression, like, 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 mm -hmm. Like changing our posture toward it. Um, he he spoke with me about um, about doing that with anxiety as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Like a, I was having a conversation with him about anxiety. He said, "Well, hold up. You know, you 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 speak about anxiety as if it's only a bad thing." I said, "Well, yeah, George. Anxiety bad, mm -hmm. right? You know, yeah. clearly yeah. bad." He goes, "Well." Uh, he said, no, uh, anxiety is just anxiety. It's, it's neutral. It's what you do with it that, mm. that makes it good or bad. He goes, mm. uh, anxiety is actually a very powerful tool if you learn how to use it because it, 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 uh, it gives you focus, right? Okay. Like, uh, if you hear a sound in the middle of the night. You know, and you jump out of bed and you feel anxiety and the anxiety brings all of you online, right? It brings all of your mm -hmm. uh, physical, emotional, mental attention and it points it at one problem. What is that sound I just heard, you know? And that's really mm -hmm. useful, right? You know, mm -hmm. um, my manager uh, is kind of this anxious person, you know, and, and it's his it's his secret weapon, you know, I mean, like he's, he's really great at aiming his anxiety at problems, you know, and, uh, I love that about him, but, you know, so, so it's all about having a grown up relationship with, with these, these powerful, uh, f f forces in our life, you know, um, and, 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 uh, my depression is, is alerting me at times that, you know, mm. you should maybe start trying to build some more margin into your life, you know? <laughs> yeah. 
No, so, I, I love so, that. Yeah. And I think that that's, yeah. we have to be willing to recognize it and lay it down. Like yeah. lay yeah. whatever that, like you said, to take that time to lay that down to find out what, yeah. what you really need inside yeah. as well. I, I love you know, that. I've, I've always looked at it oh. as a bad thing too. So that was great that you pointed that out about yeah, anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that great? It can be a yeah, negative like it, word, it, but it's, it's a warning yeah. sign. Like it's an alert. Let us know. Like, Hey, something needs your attention. Yeah. Yeah. Here. And it, like all these things can be powerful tools if we learn how to use them well, you know? Um, but in the song I wrote uh, about rest, um, which is the song I wrote about the innkeeper, just because I imagine him, you know, okay, if the inn is full, that means he's busy, you know, and, overbooked and all of that. And man, I know, I know how that feels, you know? And, uh, you know, it's like when you're a kid, do you remember those last 10 days before Christmas, man, it seemed like it took forever <laughs> yeah. for those. Like, Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah. then as you get older, <laughs> as you get older, it's like, Oh my gosh, the days are coming too fast. I can't stop. Yes. It, you know? so, yes. um, yeah. And, uh, and, I think as as we get older and and more responsibilities and 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 that can lead us to being overwhelmed and 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 spread too thin um and that can turn into depression and that and that can harden into anger. So I mm. wanted to do a song mm -hmm. that was kind of about what happens when our depression hardens into anger and the story of the innkeeper is, is is the story of a person so uh, so in the grip of of uh, of all the things that you know of all the demands in their life, so in the grip of that that uh, it has blinded them to the wonder that appears at their fr mm. front step, and and uh, and also um, uh, an interesting line in the song. Um, the way the way I wrote it, like I wanted to 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 to, to show how how when our when our our busyness turns into depression and then hardens into anger, it can change our view of God too, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. at the end of the song, he says, "O come, O come, Emmanuel, with a sword deliver Israel," you know, and it's mm -hmm. all of a sudden his God is a God of 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 vengeance and anger because that's where he's at, yeah. you know, um, and, and, uh, and that can, that can happen. That can happen to us. You yeah. know, I, I think a lot of religious people in our culture right now are, 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 are um, the world experiences us as, as yeah. angry and judgmental. And a part of yeah. that m might because be because of this thing that we're, we're, we're t t t t talking about, you know, so. Wow. That's good. Wow. That's really good. Okay. So your song rest. Yeah. Yeah, uh, do you have a do you have a guitar by you? I do. I might have to coin out to go grab it. Okay, you, well, you can coin out. <laughs> okay, coin if out. You wanna, does anybody here? Okay, if you guys want to hear Jason do, can you do your song rest for us? Would you? I mind? can. You guys want to? You guys want to hear it? You throw some confetti. Okay, All right. I'll be yeah, right okay. back. All right, I'll be right you go back. Ahead. Uh, I've never played without being able to see before, so uh, I just want to assure everyone that no matter how things go right now, I sound fantastic on my records. So, so, uh, There's right. tons of meta go. grace in That's here. Right. Yeah, meta okay, grace. Good, good, good. All right, here we go. This hard to see, <laughs> or hard to hit the chords without seeing. <laughs> yeah. Are you able to hear the guitar? All right. Yep, we can hear it. Yeah, sounds great. Okay, guys, cool. hear it. Yep. If you need me to sing louder or play harder, just speak up while I'm playing. I'll do what I can. All right, here we go. Okay. I found them standing in my door In the clumsy silence of the poor I've got no time for precious things But at least they won't be wandering If they're sleeping on my stable floor yeah, yeah. 
There were no rooms to rent tonight. The only empty bed is mine. Cause I'm overbooked and I'm overrun with too many things that must be done till I'm numb and running blind. I need a rest. I need a rest. Lost inside a forest of a million trees, trying to find my way back to me. I need a rest. Yeah, that, was, that was amazing. That's amazing. Man. Yeah, look at oh, all the confetti out you. there. That was great, thank Jason. You. That was wow. Okay, all right, so we cool. have so. Eric. Eric? Okay, I'm just going to say Eric. Is Eric here? Is Eric here? Let's see. Do you have a question or a thought you'd like to share? I like this song. It's pretty nice. It's awesome. really smooth, thank you. too. Okay, is that how do you say your name? Eric is the name. Oops. Wow, <laughs> Brian. So my, so my dad's name's Eric, but I'm actually Sophia, his daughter. Oh, oh so yeah. hello, Sophia. Well, hello, Sophia. Hello, Sophia. What how old are you, Sophia? Us? Six. Six. Wow. Well, On January sixteenth, so I'm gonna turn seven. Oh, happy what? birthday, Sophia! My birthday is January eighteenth. <gasps> Whoa. Wait, so I'm gonna be kind of older than you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're way I'm... older than me. I like your like, math. I'm gonna turn oh. be... So, like, I'm I'm trying to say I'm gonna be, like a turn before you. Like, turn. Yeah. Yes. You. Yes. yes. Yep. I love it. I'm 50, 50 years old. Can you believe you're that? You're 50, so we're gonna. Mm. Okay, I know. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> well, Eric, that, that, that's Eric why. That's Sophia. why I need rest. I'm very yeah. tired. Yeah. Lots of lots of rest. Hey, hello, hello, hello. How you guys hello. doing? Good. good. How you doing? It's good. good. See, it's always good to be yeah, with my brothers and sisters. You. Yes. Hey, Amen. Um, Thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah, my pleasure, man. Thanks for putting this on. It's always a pleasure to uh, come to your events. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to say that it was a great song, and um, from one musician to another, it's you know it's very difficult to try to play live in the setting. And I thought <laughs> you did a great job, man. Oh, thank uh, you. Earlier, we were discussing quiet, and, and as as a songwriter, uh, I think, uh, and, and you're a songwriter, I could see it, I can hear it. Uh, here's an idea for you that, that kind of came to my mind as we were talking about, uh, or you guys were talking about uh, this idea about uh, you know quitting turning it into quiet well as i was you know up there listening sometimes you want to quit and you had enough well if you take that e and you add it to the quit you've got quiet and sometimes Mm -hmm. as as the lord will have us do just be quiet and be still talk to your father right so so anyway i just was thinking about that i thought i'd come and share um but but thank you for for what you guys do i appreciate you i love you brothers and sisters come on Yvonne. Come on, we need that Price is Right music, yourself. Brian. Yes, come on down. You're muted right now. Yvonne, so just let you know. I'm you. <laughs> well, you hi, Jason. Here. Hello, Yvonne. Okay, my question for you, like I like to ask everybody, is what is your life verse? I would say if you ask me from my autograph, I always do Isaiah 49, 16. It says, uh, see, I have carved your name in the palm of my hands. The other verse that I love is is, uh, is Paul's uh, exasperated uh, naming of of the human condition, right? When he says, <laughs> "What's wrong with me? Why do I do what I don't want to do, and what I do want to do, I don't do that?" You know, um, I just uh, I love that acknowledgement of our of our complexity. You know, mm. awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Juan. Diener, come on up, Diener. All right. Mine mine really, Jason, isn't a, a question. It's more of a, a comment. Um, so I have a playlist um, on yeah. my Google Play called Warrior. And mm-hmm. um, when I go through troubling times or when things, yeah. you know, I'm struggling with things, I, I play the songs on that Warrior <laughs> playlist. And your songs are on that playlist. And... Oh. 
That means I, I listen to contemporary Christian music. That's about 90% of what I listen to. So yeah. you are somebody that I listen to all the time on K-Love and, and um, The Message on Sirius XM, um, yeah. Smile FM, and your songs are on there and they're always very uplifting and oh. they do reach, they do reach us. They do reach us. So yeah. I just wanted to let you know that. And it's really great to meet you. Very nice to meet you too. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Diener. Jason, you're going to close out, close us out with a killer bee exclusive. All right. Are we doing it? Right. Yep. Doing good. Good. You guys ready for it? So um, a lot of people ask me, Hey, uh, where do your, song ideas come from you know and um i like to i like to read a lot you know and 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 if i if i happen upon uh a quote that moves me or helps me you know i think um maybe it'll it'll help somebody else too you know and so i'll 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 very often adapt that into songs and it's especially helpful if whoever originated the quote is dead uh, so that I don't have to pay him royalties, you know? So <laughs> I've been, uh, I've been building my career on the back of, 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 uh, of dead people who are way wiser than me. So this is one of those songs. Um, yeah, there we go. There it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> So this is a song inspired by a quote that my uh, my pastor used to use at the end of all of his emails. And uh, it's been attributed to Philo of Alexandria. And I bet you've heard it or heard a version of it. It goes like this. Be kind for everyone you know is in the middle of a great battle. And uh, and that would just be at the end of his emails all the time. And it just uh, it got in there and it just began to do its work in me, you know. So like uh, when I'm at the grocery store and the guy behind the c- 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 counter is, is rude or giving me some attitude, you know, in that moment, I can I can choose to give that back or I can turn the other cheek, you know. Uh, he might have something going on and I can either make things worse or or I can be kind and in some small way, uh, you know, at least not make things worse, but maybe even make them a little bit better, you know? So anyway, so this song is called be kind and it'll, it'll be out in just a few weeks. Yeah, that's how it goes. Brick light stuck on the highway. Some guy cuts into my lane. Anger like an explosion. I'm mad and make sure he knows it. But I don't know what he's been through. The family he's trying to get to. That's when the spirit inside me reminds me to be kind. Cause everyone you meet. Is fighting their own battle. They're fighting their own battle. So be kind, cause everyone you see needs to know they matter. They need to know they matter. So be kind. kind. Yeah, that was awesome. Yes, oh, Wayne thank you, everybody. Confetti. That was great. Wow. That was awesome, Jason. And, and you chose a song that's Be Kind for Killer B Studio. For so Killer B. 